Well, you know, Jake, I was on a little bit of the opposite end of the spectrum, being a white guy on a college football team in a skill position where there wasn't a whole lot of white folk. Now I come into that and I don't see that I wasn't necessarily welcome in that culture. But what I did know is that there was a lot that I never learned about how to be a good football player, how to relax my shoulders, my hips, how to have good footwork, how to just be good at reacting, exploding. And it took me a good year of really immersing into that world, into that college football culture until I really started progressing and being a good football player. But when I first got there, I felt extremely uncomfortable, not culturally, but because I never had that type of mentorship and I just didn't know what I was doing. So one of the things that I hope to continue doing with SoCalm Athlete and one of the things that you're continuing to do is opening up and making it inclusive to those who have maybe not had any of those skills or immersed to any of those things like water confidence, being in the water, or maybe even something like being out in the woods and doing land navigation. So I like what you're saying, Jake. I'm all about it. Yeah, brother. I just, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put anything on the color of anybody's skin why they can't make it. I'm gonna put it on their preparation, right? I just took somebody, I took a new person about two weeks ago, and it was really interesting because they just wanted to talk about the exercise. And I said, nah, I said, I got I got 90% of your brain to prepare. Like 90% of this business is, is mental. And if we don't get you ready for that 90%, you're gonna fail immediately. I don't care how fast you run in this stuff. And they were shocked about that. Well, like, really? Like, well, I was worried about log PT and boat PT. And I said, no, shut up. Like, we're not worried about none of that stuff. But like, I tell people, like, so I, I shot this master class, right? And, and I'm gonna talk about it a little bit because it'll elaborate on what we're talking about. And so the way I made it was, I just got, I just had a guy from Illinois graduate from SEAL team training last September, okay? And so I went through every phone conversation that I had with him and I said, okay, I need a video on this. I need a video on this. I need a video on this. When I got done, it was like a hundred plus videos, 13 and a half hours of conversations that I had about mental preparation of this next block of training, right? How do I care and conduct myself properly in the house? How do I make sure that I get there an hour and a half early in CQB and I walk the house and I walk my, my, my entrances, I open doors left and right. I work all of that stuff before the day starts so that I can be the best, right? And we talked a little bit offline about this. When you're in the business of shooting people in the face, like, there's no such thing as showing up with your B game. Like, your B game gets you a ride home in the coffin, or worse, it gets your buddies a ride home in the coffin. And, Jake, what time did you wake up this morning? What time have you been waking up this week for our listeners out there? Oh, man, dude, I've been on fire this week. So I got some really big stuff in the, in the pipe, man. Like, I woke up this morning at 3 o'clock, and my wife threw me 3 out of bed. 3 a.m. 3 a.m. No, wife threw him out of bed. fire, man. Like on fire, that's what it like takes, just, right, Jake? That's what huh? it takes. That's what it takes. You got to you know what? Like all I, the people are sleeping. Yeah, I, I tell people like I like to sleep in, but I got three kids, so the alarm clock going off at six o'clock with them three boys anyway. But like when I get going on some stuff, then I'm gonna start like like Jocko says that passion wakes me up, right? Like like I'm gonna start getting up when I got it. When my body tell me it's time to go, I'm ready to go. So for me, like. And it's weird because if I wake up at 3 a.m. and I look around, I'm like, let's go. You know, let's let's go get it done. So, like, I got this thing at one with you. I've been grinding out this white paper since, mm, like, 4.30. Just been I in got the up. lab. Yeah, I did. I, I worked on a bunch of emails and some other stuff this morning early. And then just been, you know, you know how well I write. So... Yeah. We've been grinding, but now I got this speech to text stuff. Woo! I <laughs> oh, thought about writing a book this morning. Good to go now.